A group of security guards at West Michigan Federal Buildings are taking legal action, claiming a union came to them saying, join up and pay dues or lose your job. This is a, a growing situation across Michigan. In March 2023, state legislators voted to repeal Michigan's right to work law. That took effect this month, meaning unions within the state can now require workers pay union dues and fees. Union officials are going store to store and telling people if they don't join the union, they will lose their jobs. A group of over 60 private security guards here in West Michigan working posts like the Gerald R. Ford Federal Building have recently been in touch with the National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation. They claim they are being told by the United Government Security Officers of America Union that they need to become paying members or risk their employment. The group has since filed a petition for a deauthorization election with the National Labor Relations Board. A deauthorization election is when the employees join together and sign a petition saying we would like to have a vote on whether or not the union continues to have the power to force us to pay dues or fees in order to keep our jobs. If the petition is approved, the Labor Board will then organize an election for all full-time and regular part-time employees. Where these workers can vote of whether or not they want to maintain that what's called a union security agreement. If the election is successful, then that particular clause would be removed from the contract and they would no longer, they would have right to work protections again. They would no longer be compelled to pay dues. The results of such an election would be made available on the review board's website. But it is possible that the union could file an unfair labor practice charge against the employees, arguing they need to maintain the ability to force union membership and dues. Usually in deauthorization they don't do that because the union remains in place. It's just they can't compel you to pay dues or fees to continue to work. I did reach out to the United Government Security Officers of America union leadership to see if they had anything to say about the situation. We have not yet heard back.